Hello guys, this is Adeep. Hope you're all doing great and welcome back to another electrifying video from Motorhub. So in today's video, we will be talking about one of the hottest electric hatches in India, which is none other than the Tiago EV. But, and before that, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Motorhub. Also hit that bell icon to not miss any of my future updates. The Tiago EV is basically available in 5 variants and which are classified into medium range and long range uh, versions. So in the medium range you get the XC and XT variant. Also the XT variant comes under long range as well. So you can choose either a medium range or a long range version of the XT variant. However the XZ plus and the XZ plus technology luxury variants are only available in the long range variants. The claimed range by Tata for the medium range is around 250 km from its 19.2 kWh battery pack and for the long range variant it is around 315 km from its 24 kWh battery pack and it also has different power deliveries for both the variants and the battery pack is IP67 rated. So coming to home charging options you can choose between a 3.3 kW AC wall box charger or a 7.2 kW fast wall box charger. However the 7.2 kW fast charger will only be available for the XZ Plus and the XZ Plus technology luxury variant. Apart from this you get a portable charger which can be charged via a 15 amp 3 pin socket from anywhere as a standard with both the variants. Coming to charging time the medium range variant takes around 6.9 hours using the 15 amp or the 3.3 kilowatt box charger for to charge from 0 to 100 percent. However, it takes only 2.6 hours to charge uh, via the 7.2 kilowatt fast charger. If you use a DC fast charging uh, like outside, you can uh, charge from 10 to 80 percent in just 58 minutes. And similarly, for the long range version, it takes around 8.7 hours uh, to charge with a 15 amp and a 3.3 kilowatt charger. With the 7.2 kilowatt charger, it takes around 3.6 hours. And if you use a DC fast charger, it takes a similar 58 minutes to charge from 10 to 80 percent. So for the battery pack and uh, motor you get 8 years or 1,60,000 km of warranty and you get uh, 3 years or 1,25,000 km of warranty for the vehicle. In terms of dimensions it is 3.8 meters in length, 1.7 meters in width, 1.5 meters in height and the wheelbase happens to be 2.4 meters. Coming to pricing, the base variant which is the XC medium range variant uh, retails at an X showroom price of Rs 8.69 lakhs and goes all the way up to 12.04 lakhs for the top of the line XZ plus technology luxury variant which is obviously the long range variant and it is available in 5 colors which are teal blue, Daytona grey which is right in front of us, tropical mist, pristine white and midnight plum. In terms of safety, it gets two airbags, ABS with EBD, intelligent tire pressure monitoring system and a puncture repair kit as standard across all the variants. You get reverse parking sensors for the XC and XT variant but for the XZ Plus and XZ Plus technology luxury variant you only get a reverse parking camera, no sensors. You also get follow me home headlamps, impact sensing auto door unlock as well in the higher variants. In terms of design, it is quite similar to the IC version of the Tiago, but what distinguishes this is this electric blue uh, insert which you get with all the electric vehicles from Tata and it gets a projector headlamp for the low beam and regular halogen for the high beam and down here you get LED DRLs and uh, fog lamps as well which is halogen again. So basically the front grille is covered to improve the aerodynamic efficiency and under the hood is uh, three-phase permanent magnet synchronous motor which produces a peak power of 55 kilowatt and a maximum torque of 114 newton meters so this is basically the long range version of the Tiago EV and uh, yeah it delivers around 315 kilometers no insulation right there as it does not require one as such moving to the side this is how the Tiago EV looks you get a EV badging right there on the fender and uh, this is a steel wheel which is modified to look like an alloy and the tire size happens to be 175 by 65 R14 the outside rear view mirrors are finished in piano black and it gets an integrated turn indicator in it you get an antenna on the front like on the top and this is how the Tiago EV looks from the rear. You get a spoiler on the top and the tail lamps are still halogen. You do not get reverse parking sensors. And this is the rear wiper along with the rear defogger as well and a high moon stop lamp. Tiago EV written right there and this is the reverse parking camera. 
so for this uh, xz plus variant as i've told you get only the reverse parking camera this is to unlock the boot and the boot carrying capacity happens to be 240 liters you get a rear parcel shelf as well and you have hooks on either sides to carry your bags and this is the portable charger of the vehicle so let me yeah so this is how it looks you can just plug it into any regular 15 amp socket with three pins and uh, this goes into the car and a warning triangle as well as you can see and you do not get any spare wheel for this vehicle as it gets only a puncture repair kit now let's check the ground clearance so the battery pack is uh, quite well protected as you can see and the ground clearance is also quite ample now let's move into the rear seats of the vehicle so the interior is finished in dual tone which is uh, beige and uh, black as you can see you get a proper uh, one liter bottle holder on the rear door pockets as well coming to the rear bench you can uh, squeeze in uh, three adults however the middle passenger uh, gets a massive hump in the middle which can be quite uncomfortable you get fixed address for both the passengers and there is no third headrest at all adequate amount of knee room and leg room headroom is also definitely not an issue and under the support is also good you get a bottle holder in the middle as well and tweeters placed on the doors handle on both the sides and now let's move to the driver's seat of the vehicle so the front door pocket can also accommodate one liter water bottle and these are the controls for your power windows you get manual height and recline adjust for the driver's seat there is a proper dead pedal right there along with accelerator and brake pedals some storage space over here so as you can see the AC vents also get this electric blue insert and you get a flat bottom steering wheel with the piano black inserts and on the left you get the infotainment system controls and on the right you get the MID and the cruise control you get the wiper stock on the left and the headlight stock is on the right the Tiago EV gets a fully digital instrument cluster which shows you digital speed in which drive mode the vehicle is in, time, outside temperature, twin trip meters, odometer, range, charge level and stuff like that. It also shows you the service reminder and any warnings that you might get. You can toggle between the different uh, modes using this button over here. Just below the middle AC vents you get a 7 inch touch screen infotainment system by Harman and it is paired to 4 speakers and 4 tweeters. It gets Bluetooth, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay connectivity along with the FM function as well. And uh, it is quite a fluid to use I would say. So you also get to uh, like some settings like the park assist you can customize those settings. So this is the reverse parking camera. You also get AC controls which can be operated by touch via the screen itself. So yeah, here they are. So you can turn on or off the AC, you can adjust the temperature and the fan speed and uh, the different uh, air circulation modes and stuff like that. So this is basically about the infotainment system and the audio quality is quite decent uh, considering the price point I would say. So the infotainment system uh, you get some buttons. So the first button is to decrease the regenerative braking sensitivity and the one next to it is to increase it. And uh, just beside that is the fog light switch. So as you can see the region level uh, is increasing over here as we press the button. This is for the fog lamp and this is to lock or unlock the vehicle. And this is to open the boot of the vehicle just below that you have the physical controls for the air conditioning system and you get a usb charging as well as a 12 volt power socket and this is the key of the vehicle it looks quite premium and this is the drive mode selector 
you get twin cup holders and another 12 volt socket over here and uh, another bottle holder and the last the front seats are also quite comfortable to be in and uh, front tweeter is placed right there and pressing this button opens the glove box which is uh, quite big for a car of this size i would say and this is a cooled glove box as well no auto dimming inside rear view mirror however the passenger side visor gets a mirror and the cabin light is placed in the middle on the top and uh, no mirror on the driver side visor the outside rear view mirror controls are placed over here on the driver's door so guys this is my review on the tata tiago ev it also gets a four star safety rating you can check the state of uh, one of the tata tiago evs which was caught in an accident uh, the cabin is still intact and all the occupants of the car were safe the car took all the beating and uh, as you guys know tata is uh, one of the safest car manufacturers in india so guys do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel bye bye